So guys, there's been a huge turn of events in the Kubrat Pulev case. Uh, just about a couple of hours ago, a video circulated from Team Pulev of the female reporter um, at an after party of Kubrat Pulev, uh, where Kubrat Pulev was clearly pictured. And she, the re female reporter was lap dancing in the video on a Kubrat Pulev, a Team Pulev member. Uh, she was pictured with them as well. Uh, I don't know, at dinner or a party, wherever, on a table sitting together. So if if this female reporter was looking for some kind of compensation for what Pulev did, I think the judge, if it goes to court, will shoot it down straight away now. Because what this shows is that she's just off for a few quid. Because clearly the kiss did not s stop her from going to the, the post-fight par party. So what she's trying to do, she's trying to make a bit of money. She obviously knows Pulev um, for her to go to his after party and for her to be lap dancing on one of his, one of his team members' uh, lap, right? Which, which, you know... Uh, is mind-boggling the fact that she's uh, you know after after you know what happened to her in that interview she went to his post fight you know party and then the next day she's accusing him of sexual assault it's just to me you know what I'm not listen I'm not now protecting Pulev because what Pulev did was wrong and he should be punished accordingly or but I think it should also to be taken into consideration that I think this female reporter is has probably got a lot more faces than what we thought initially. Uh, because you don't do, after being, if you feel you've been sexually assaulted, you don't go to the guy's post-fight party. You just don't do that. And you certainly don't lap dance on one of, his one of his team members. That could have been his brother, his friend, I don't know who it was. But you certainly don't do that. So, and you certainly don't take pictures with their with it with their team after if you feel you've been sexually assaulted by a guy. So again, this doesn't look good um, from the female reporter side. But again, I think she's been exposed, and I think if she's looking for any kind of compensation or she's looking for, some, that's not going to happen because the judge will clearly shoot it down and say, well, look you saying you're being sexually assaulted so what 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 the judge is going to say you obviously know him and you have some kind of relationship with him as a friend or whatever right and you're now trying to accuse him because obviously he's done something which has been you know come which has caught the attention of the public eye um and you're just trying to you're you're trying to make money she's trying to get some compensation out of it so i just think again you know i think Obviously, I felt sorry for her when the video first came out, but I obviously didn't know the score. Now, after watching that video and watching the events, I feel like she's just as bad as him because she's he's done wrong, but she's, like I said, just in it for the money rather than actually feeling hu humiliated, right? She was at his post-fight party, so what does that say about her? But yeah, guys, so, uh, you know, I made a video, but actually, you know talking in her favor but now i just feel like i don't have you know I, i'm not talking to talk in someone's favor that actually didn't really care about it and they're just looking for a few quid but leave your thoughts in the comment section below guys and guys remember to please like share and subscribe to my channel i'll see you guys in the next video